Hello and welcome. It's 8.30 in the morning. It's Groundhog Day. It's the second day of February 2022. It's 50 degrees and sunny here in Ventura, California with a high wind warning. It's Super Bowl week. It's also the beginning of Lunar New Year and Groundhog Day. Did I mention it was Groundhog Day? It's Groundhog Day. Uh, so one of my vlog viewers, a gentleman by the name of Craw, Carl, said it's been a while since I've done a get to know the OG GM update. Um, he said he went through the vlog and couldn't find any. I think I've done these before. I've done D&D &D tag, but sure. So the questions he asked is, what is my favorite role playing game? Uh, I think we all know the answer to that. If you've been on my vlog for more than five seconds, you would know my top five pretty well. But in case you don't, uh, my current favorite role playing game is Tales from the Loop from Free League Publishing. My all time favorite role playing game of any genre, Dungeons and Dragons 2nd Edition. My all time favorite role playing game of a specific genre, Marvel Super Heroes role playing game, the Phase Rip Edition. If we would do my top five role playing games of all time, it's mostly superhero role playing games, which is weird. But yeah, um, Marvel Superhero Phase Rip number one, Villains and Vigilantes number two. Uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons number three, and then of course just my heartbreakers like uh, Tales from the Loop and Blue Planet, um, which are sort of in a separate bubble from favorite role playing games. But yeah, favorite role playing game of all time: Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Second Edition, whatever you want to call it, or Marvel superhero role playing game Phase Rep Edition. Uh, my favorite tabletop role playing game setting: Superheroes. Um, the Forgotten Realms in the AD and D years, uh, the world of Freeport from Green Ronin, um, the world of the Slumbering Dar Sar from Frog God Games. Uh, most of my D and D memories are associated with AD and D, the Forgotten Realms, TJ Storm's fifteen year long uh, Company of the Bull campaign. So, yeah, the Forgotten Realms hold a really strong place in my heart. Uh, the best tabletop role-playing game I ever ran was my eight-year-long Freeport campaign set in Green Ronin's World of Freeport. Definitely a world I need to revisit at one point in time. Um, yeah, so that's my favorite, probably my favorite settings. Tabletop role-playing game I've played the most. It's a tie uh, between Dungeons & Dragons, mostly AD&D, and third edition with some Pathfinder thrown in there, but I just consider, you know, Pathfinder is more D&D. &D. But yeah, Dungeons and & Dragons and Villains of Vigilantes. If you haven't heard my stories about my role-playing game history, uh, a huge chunk of my role-playing game history is Villains of Vigilantes. I mean, my introduction to role-playing games is very backwards. The game I played the most as a child before college was Villains and Vigilantes. And the, the game I played the most during college was Villains and Vigilantes. And I really didn't start playing D&D &D hardcore every week till I graduated from college and moved back home to Studio City or Costa Rica, depending upon which story you believe, and got into TJ Storm's game and started playing with TJ Storm and Tom Lindgren. Then it was like 1989 to 2002 D and D. Nobody wanted to play superheroes. When I moved up here to Ventura County or my small island off the coast of Costa Rica, depending upon which story you believe, um, it's a it was a D and D town. Nobody wanted to play supers. Uh, played in various five E and three E and Pathfinder games, most of which didn't last longer than a year, maybe two years. Uh, I think the longest I played in was two years on and off. The longest I ran was almost eight years. My Freeport game. So yeah, um, before moving here, yeah, and after moving here, and then before college and after college, but everything before college. So I mean, pretty much for the time I started gaming at like 8 to 1989, so was, you know, Villains of Vigilantes. Uh, game setting that I want to play more that I haven't gotten to play enough. Uh, Tales from the Loop. 
<laughs> Atomic Highway, a small little heartbreak of a game with a great system that really deserves more recognition. I totally love the V6 engine so much that I hacked it apart and used it as the basis for, the, for um, my space game that I ran last year. And I'll probably revisit it. In fact, I'm working on it now. Um, so yeah, the Atomic Highway system is a system I love. Obviously, Tailors from the Loop and the Free League Publishing Mutant Year Zero system I absolutely love. So those are games I want to play more. Savage Worlds, Deadlands, definitely a game I didn't play enough if I don't want to play more. And strangely enough, Starfinder. Starfinder, I played like three or four times. I absolutely loved it. And I wanted to play more. And I don't know why the Starfinder game I, I was in ended. Um, I think just, you know, we didn't have enough players and the DM schedule changed. And one of the players really didn't understand the world. So I, you know, I, and I did. And I was just having so much fun uh, with my shape changer. And uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of reasons. So yeah, strangely enough, Starfinder is a game I'd love to play more of. I really loved it. Uh, Savage World, Savage World Supers, I'd love to play more. Um, Deadlands, I would love to play more. Tales from the Loop, I'd love to play more. Atomic Highway, I'd love to play more. Um, I wouldn't mind playing in a 5e game again. Um, you know, obviously my stories about 5e are, are very, very slewed because as of now, as I've said repeatedly in many, many articles, I don't think I've played 5e. I've come close to playing 5e as written, but I don't really feel like I've played 5e as written. I was been in a couple 5e games. Um, one DM who I've spoken of repeatedly, every game he ran, he tried to take 5e and turn it into something else, um, which didn't work with 5e. And as I've said previously in other vlogs, there's definitely things that do work with 5e. Definitely things that don't work with 5e. If you're going to try and run 5e fantasy, i.e. current Dungeons & Dragons, whether we think 5e is D&D or not, that's the name, um, you got to run it as written or at least within the parameters as written. If you try and change it into something it's not, it's better to just run the game that does does something. Example, if you're going to run a King Arthur campaign, 5e is not the game for running a King Arthur campaign. Run Pendragon, <laughs> run Savage Worlds, um, run the Age System. So yeah, that was the major 5e games were all run by somebody who was trying to make 5e something it's not. Uh, the other few 5e games I played in were, again, just trying to make it something it's not. Didn't live up to the... Ex of course, it's hard to live up to the expectations that 5e had because of Critical Role. Uh, so a lot of people were trying to make their game Critical Role, and of course they couldn't, so it fell apart. A lot of people came to the 5e table and the few games that I played in with expectations. And when those expectations weren't met, they got disappointed. You know, one DM tried to make 5e an epic anime uh, giant robot campaign about his NPCs where nothing the player characters did mattered. So that game fell apart. Another guy's 5e campaign was just two different people, two different groups constantly fighting against each other because all of them had this expectations of the way 5e should be and what they wanted to play and then they didn't a lot of them are like couldn't do what i thought 5e would let me do so that one fell apart i played in another 5e game but that was basically just a guy uh running his world with his home rules trying to find players for his home game and once he found the players for his home game he ended the game he was running uh, and then there was another guy who ran a game but tried to make 5e into OSR. So he was trying to run first edition using 5e. So pretty much every 5e game I've been in, I don't really feel, with maybe one exception, which was sort of close but still not really, was a 5e game. I don't know if you can play 5e because there's just so many expectations and so many people try to make it into something that's not. And I'm really getting off track here. So yeah, 5e. Uh, where do I stand on the current political nonsense? Well, over the past two weeks, I've been called an alt-right Nazi and an alt-left Marxist. Uh, racist, homophobe, anti-Semitic, of course, is still floating around. Interesting that people are calling me a Jew and anti-Semitic. Um, I don't think the people who are using those words actually know what they mean. Because if you knew me and you knew what the words mean, 
you would know that I am neither an alt-right Nazi nor am I an alt-left Marxist. I'm Batman. Because, as a wise man once said, always be yourself, unless you can be Batman, and then always be Batman. So where do I stand on the political stream in regards to this nonsense? What do I consider myself? I'm, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not any of those, So, but I know they're easy words to toss out. So whatever, you want to cancel me, go ahead. I don't really care anymore. Um, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing until it stops being fun. So, yeah. So that's it. Uh, hopefully, Carl, you appreciate those answers. I might have gotten a little lost there, but uh, whatever. Favorite RPG, favorite game setting, played the most, want to play more. Strangely enough, Starfinder's on that list. And, of course, then I got off track, and for that I apologize. If you appreciate this content, let me know. If you have any more con questions you want me to answer about the weird, wide world, the history of the OG GM in gaming, or, you know, the OG GM love train, or whatever it is I'm called, the uh, mediocre idiot that's uneducated, toxic gatekeeper, elitist, alt-right, alt-left, Alt up, alt down, alt alt right, 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 left, 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 right. I'm fucking Batman. <laughs> okay, if you gotta identify me as anything, just Batman. Till next time, I'm the OGGM. If you appreciate this content, you know what to do. Have a great day. Stay safe and get out of my land, you damn kids with your damn dog. <laughs>